Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the low side current sensing by using the operational amplifier. So let us first understand what is the low side current sensing. So if you look at the input side of the circuits. So here I have 3.3 volt voltage source that is V1 and then I have the load connected. So in place of the load I have connected the current source and the value of this current source. The current is varying from 100 micro ampere to 250 micro ampere. That means the value of my load current is 100 micro ampere to 250 micro ampere and after that this current source I have connected the R sense resistance that is that is current sensing register. So now if you look at my load is connected to the VCC here my current source is connected to VCC and after the load or after the current sense I have here is the current measuring resistance that is R sense. So if your load is connected to VCC and your sense register is connected to the ground that means you are doing the low side of current sensing. What does it mean? You, if your sense register is connected to ground and you are measuring the signal from from this point this dot here that means you are doing the low side of current measurement and this is called the low side of current measurement and in this video I'm gonna only talk about the low side of current sensing not high side of current sensing not high side current sensing okay so this is I1 is current source then I R sense and at this point at this dot I am taking the voltage drop across the shunt resistance the voltage drop across the R sense register and I'm fading this the voltage drop to the op-amp plus terminal okay op-amp plus terminal and then this is non-inverting amplifier since you are fading your input signal to the positive terminal of the op-amp that is why it is called the non-inverting amplifier okay and uh, here I have given the feedback resistance okay the R2 and R3 is the feedback components wherein if you want to calculate the feedback the gain the gain of non-inverting amplifier is going to be 1 plus R2 divided by R3 and that is 1 plus since this is non-inverting amplifier the gain is given by 1 plus R2 divided by R3 and since the value of R2 is 1 mega ohm and the value of R3 is uh, 10k if you want if you calculate the gain it is going to be 1 not 1 so maybe I can write it here the gain is 1 not 1 you can calculate you can do your own math but for now I have written here the gain is 1 not 1 okay so and uh, if you look at here in parallel with this this uh, R2 I have also connected one capacitance to give the the feedback loop stability now if you talk about now if you talk about what is going to be my output irrespective of change in the input current or change in the load current okay so let us say if you if your load current is 100 micro ampere what is going to be output and if our load current is 250 micro ampere what is going to our output okay let us understand this now so if the load current is 100 micro ampere and i'm gonna get one millivolt output and if my load current is 250 milliampere, I'm gonna get 2.5 volt output. So in nutshell, if you look at here, your voltage value is, is being multiplied by 10 times of your I sense. So if your 100 microampere is the load current and if you multiply by 10 it is going to give us 1 millivolt and if the input current or load current is 250 milliampere and if you multiply this to the I sense multiply 250 multiply to 10 we are going to getting 
uh, we we are going to get here the 2.5 volt okay and let us let us now run the simulation and, and see whether this theory is good or not whether whether the simulation is following a theoretical analysis or not so straight away i'm going to run the simulation so go at this run button click on it and uh, you will see two window go at window tile window vertically and you can do it like this so that you will see both window the waveform window and the simulation the waveform window and the circuit window together so let me first show you the input voltage that is v plus and now if you look at the supply supply here is v plus that is 3.3 volt and the negative supply is connected to the ground so my input voltage is 3.3 volt my current is varying from 0 milliampere to 250 milliampere but i want to measure the current starting from 100 microampere to 250 milliampere my area of interest is this 100 microampere to 250 microampere and let us see if let us see the output voltage okay so now this is the output voltage let me change the color this to red okay let us analyze so i'll divide into two plot pane this is my input and this is my input current wherein if you see the current is changing from 0 milliampere to 250 milliampere but i want to measure the current of 100 microampere to 250 microampere and now if you look at here the voltage is also changing from 0 volt to 2.5 volt here okay so so in the case of if you look at here in the case of if the current value is 250 milliampere so we are getting here 2.5 volt okay so let me add one more plot pin so let us see what is the voltage drop across the shunt resistance so now if you look at the the voltage drop across the shunt resistance is varying from uh, 0 millivolt i would say 0 millivolt to you have some voltage here and that is the 25 millivolt so my voltage is varying from 0 millivolt to 25 millivolt but in the case of but in the case of if i have the 100 microampere current and i want to measure the voltage drop when the current is 100 microampere so let us say you're gonna get uh, you can you can find out the voltage drop v equals to ir and uh, i equals to 100 microampere multiply by the shunt resistance value 100 milliohm you gonna get the voltage drop across the shunt resistance when you have the load current is 100 microampere you will get some value and if you multiply that value with the gain of 101 you gonna get 1 millivolt i have calculated and i have seen this this is perfectly correct so if you multiply if you get the shunt resistance here let's say in the case of 250 milliampere current if your load current is 250 milliampere the shunt resistance value is 100 milliohm so you can find the v equals to i into r 250 milliampere into 100 milliohm you're gonna get some voltage drop here and if you multiply the voltage with the gain factor 101 you're gonna get 2.5 volt at output and that is how you can simulate you can design your low side current sensing by using the operational amplifier and in some cases let's say you are driving any dc motors or vl dc motor it is very important to understand the current flowing through your load and how you're gonna